Hello friends, let us discuss about the third perennial river which is the Brahmaputra river system in this video. I have already discussed the other two Indus river system and the Ganga river system in my previous videos. Brahmaputra meaning the son of Brahma. It is only the male river. And this Brahmaputra river is a transboundary river between India, China and Bangladesh countries. This river originates from Chamayungdang glacier in the southwestern Tibet and it enters into in India at Namcha Barua at Himalayas and then it enters into Assam. The total length of the Brahmaputra river is 2900 kilometers. Out of this, the length, total length in India it flows is 890 kilometers which includes in Assam as well as Arunachal Pradesh state. The biggest river island in the world is on this Brahmaputra river which is known as Majuli and the smallest river island in the world also is on this river which is known as Umananda. Pasigat, Dibrugar, Niyamati, Tezpur and Gauhati are the important urban centers on this river. Due to its frequent flooding, it is also called as Sara of Assam. Now we will discuss the names of Brahmaputra river in various places. In India, it is known as Brahmaputra. In the Tibet, it is Sangpo. In China, it is Yarlang, Jangpo. Bangladesh, it is known as Jamuna river. In Assam, Sidong river. And the tribals in Assam called it as Barlong Bothar. And in Arunachal Pradesh, it is called as Dihang. The tributaries of the Brahmaputra. The left tributaries are Dibang, Lohit, Kopli and Dansri river. The trick to remember these is driving license scale a documents. Remember the highlighted letter which is which represents the first letter of the left tributary word. And the right tributaries are Tista, Subhanisri, Manas, Sankosh and Kameng. And the trick to remember these right tributaries Telangana State Metro Service ka app. And the first letter represents the first letter of the name of the river. Now we will see the left bank tributaries of the Brahmaputra river. The first one is Dibang river. The river Dibang is one of the Brahmaputra's most important tributaries. The Mishmi hills are found along the upper course of the Dibang river. The next left tributary is Lohit river. The river Lohit originates in the eastern Tibet. The valley of Lohit is thickly forested, covered with alpine and subtropical vegetation. The third left bank tributary is Dansri. It originates from Nagaland and it is the main river of Golaghat district of Assam and Dimapur district of Nagaland state. There are numerous perennial waterlogged swampy regions associated with this Dansri river. The right bank tributaries of the Brahmaputra river are Tista. The river or this river originates from North Sikkim at an elevation of 5330 meters in the Himalayas. Previously Tista was the tributary of the Ganga, but currently Tista was is a tributary of Brahmaputra river. The second tributary is Suban, Subansri. The Subansri river originates in the Himalayas in China. It flows into India from east and southeast, then south to Assam valley where it meets the Brahmaputra river in the Lakhimpur region. And the third right tributary is Manas river. Manas river is a transboundary river in the Himalayan foothills between southern Bhutan and India. The river valley has two major reserve forest areas, namely the Royal Manas National Park in Bhutan and contiguous Manas Sanctuary in India. The next right tributary of Brahmaputra is Sankosh River. It is a transboundary river. This river rises in northern Bhutan and empties into the Brahmaputra in the state of Assam. And the fifth right tributary of Brahmaputra is Kameng River. Kameng River flowing in the eastern Himalayan mountains originates in Tawang district in Arunachal Pradesh state. The Pakui Wildlife Sanctuary and the Kaziranga National Park are located near the Kameng River. 
सो दिस इज अबाउट द ब्रह्मपुत्रा रिवर एंड इट्स ट्रिब्यूटरीज थैंक यू